Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Menchu Insights Workbench Tutorial Series. Today, Alyssa Min from our Education Department will demonstrate how to create a C-Base from an existing text file. Over to you, Alyssa. In this demonstration, you'll learn how to create a C-Base from an existing text file. When you convert a text file into a C-Base and then open the C-Base in ProDiver, the columns that had text in them are identified as dimensions, while the columns that had numbers in them become summary columns. To convert an existing text file into a CBase, you use a Spectre build script. A Spectre build script is a configuration file that specifies the location of the text file, the way that data is to be processed, and the location for the output, the CBase file. To create a CBase, you identify the text file you want to use as the source file, generate a Spectre build script for the file, make any adjustments you'd like to make to the build script, run the script, and examine the output in ProDiver. In this demo, we'll take a text file that includes just a few columns of data, but many rows, and convert the file into a CBase, so you can see how Spectre handles the conversion and how you can guide that conversion. The project we'll be working in is called Healthcare Analytics. The source file we'll be working with is in the data directory of that project and is called Encounters Out 2019. Let's start by taking a quick look at the contents of Encounters Out 2019 to confirm that we're working with the correct file. To do this, we'll right-click the file name in Workbench Explorer and choose Open with Table Editor. The contents of Encounters Out 2019 appear in a new tab in the main window. We can scroll through the columns and rows to see some of the data in the text file and get a sense of what we're working with. Let's leave this tab open and generate the Spectre build script. We'll start by again right-clicking the file name in Explorer, but this time we'll select Generate Spectre Build Script from the resulting drop-down menu. The Save File dialog box appears on the screen, allowing us to specify both a name for the build script we're about to create and the directory in which to save the script. We'll accept the defaults for both the directory, forward slash programs, and the file name, encountersout2019.build. The Spectre build script renders as objects in an area of the screen called the task flow panel. The script includes three objects, a text object, which represents our text file, encountersout2019.txt, and lets you adjust input attributes, a concat object, which represents the flow of the data and lets you bring in data from other sources if you so choose, and the output object, which lets you adjust output attributes. This script contains all the elements necessary to build our CBase, and we could run it right now, just as it is. Before we do that, however, we need to double-check that Spectre has made the correct assumptions about the types of columns we have in our text file. Spectre automatically types each column in the text file using one of several different column types. For example, a column that contains whole numbers is typed as an integer column, and a column that contains text is typed as a string column. The remaining column types include Boolean, Date, Date Time, Double, Fixed 100, and Period. To begin checking our column types, to see what choices Spectre made when it generated our build script, we'll click the text object Let's narrow the task flow panel so we can see more of the Properties panel. The bottom left of the Properties panel shows us the number of columns in the text file and lists the names of the columns, followed by areas where you can change the column type and indicate whether or not you want to include a column in the CBase. Notice that a count number, the first column in the list, is identified as an integer column. The assumption Spectre made about this particular column doesn't seem quite right. 
we want the numbers in it to be treated as text strings, not numbers. But to be doubly sure, we can check the text file itself, which is still open in a tab at the top. Looking at the text file, we can see that the account numbers are all six-digit numbers, most of them beginning with the number 3. So it's evident that these are, in fact, labels or codes and not numbers. So now we can go back to the build script and change the type of the account number column from integer to string. The next column, patient name, was correctly identified as a string column, so we'll leave it as is and look at the admit date column next. Spectre correctly typed the admit date column as a date column, so we don't need to change the column type. We will, however, specify a new format for the dates in this column. We'll start by clicking the Column Properties tab in the Properties pane. In the Column Properties tab, we'll choose a date format that displays the date beginning with the month instead of the year. Let's make the same changes for discharge date. Moving on to the Total Charges column, we see that Spectre typed it as a Fixed 100 column. This column type displays numbers with up to two decimal places, making it ideal for currency values. Now let's take a quick look at the output object. The output object lets you specify the folder in which you want the final CBase to appear. By default, the build script designates the CBase's folder as the output folder, which is what we want, so we'll leave the output folder setting as it is. Now we can save the changes we've made to the build script. Now that our changes are saved, we can run the script using the Run icon on the toolbar. The script runs and creates a CBase in the CBase's folder. To make sure our CBase looks the way we want it to, we can open it in ProDiver. We'll do this by right-clicking the file name and selecting Open with Diver. Notice that all the columns that were typed as either string or date columns appear as dimensions in the ProDiver console. Let's dive on Admit Date to see how the rest of our data looks in ProDiver. Notice that the dates in the Admit Date column now display the month first, as we specified in the Spectre build script. Notice also that the text file column that was typed as a fixed 100 column, Total Charges, appears as a summary in the Dive window. One of these columns shouldn't actually be here, though. The Attending Provider Code column contains numbers, but the numbers are simply codes that identify attending physicians. So now we'll close ProDiver, change the column type of the Attending Provider Code column to String in the Spectre build script, save our changes, rerun the script, and reopen the CBase in ProDiver. Notice that Attending Provider Code now appears as a dimension name in the ProDiver console. So that's how you create a CBase from a text file. You right-click the name of your text file and select Generate Spectre Build Script. Select the text object in the Task Flow panel. Inspect the column type assignments in the Properties panel and make any necessary changes. Save the build script by selecting File Save. Click the Run icon 
and open the resulting sea base in ProDiver to make sure your sea base is as you want it to be. Thanks, Elissa. Well, that's all we have for today. If this video was helpful, let us know by giving us a like. And we would really like to hear if there's a subject you would like us to do an episode on. Let us know in the comments. Take care. See you next time.